Hello everyone, it's David Lake, aka Realtor Dave. Had an interesting couple of weeks involving properties that my clients have purchased, but before they moved in. So they bought the property, they moved conditions, they're all happy with the way that the property is, but they haven't actually moved into it yet. And, I, and one event, it was a snowstorm in Calgary, for those of us who lived here know all about it, came through, caused a lot of damage to trees, and this one particular case had devastated a tree uh, in the front yard of property my clients had purchased. In the second case, it was actually a surprising event of a property my clients had purchased being turned into a Tim Hortons the week before they moved in. Now, in both cases, people phone me up and say, hey, Dave, what can we do? What we do, we look back at the purchase contract, and the purchase contract says, the property must be in substantially the same conditions as when you bought it, as to when you move in. If it's not, you have a case, but if the property is substantially the same, there's not much you can do. In the case of the tree now, the tree is actually a substantial change. Trees are actually really expensive, especially these, these beautiful old trees. And so in this case, we talked to the sellers, sellers were great, they said, you know what, we're gonna remove the, the tree, not just the, the, not, like, not just the stump, but take the tree down, remove the stump, you know, we kind of replant as best we can. And my, so me and my client said, perfect, you know, and there wasn't much else they could do about it, obviously nature happens. In the second case of the Tim Hortons, um, this is even more surprising because there was really very little my clients could do. Tim Hortons kind of went in there, um, they did their thing, they moved out, uh, and then they made the repairs afterwards. I mean, the other realtor, the listing realtor, had gone in, we looked through, made sure they made the changes to the hardwood, touched when they painted, done. But ultimately, there wasn't very much my clients could do. Now, these are obviously two very unpredictable, unpredictable events. So let's take it back a step further. Let's say you walk into a property and you look around and it's dirty. And you're worried and you say, well, you know, I want this place to be cleaned up by the time I move into it. So you put in the purchase contract, property to be professionally cleaned prior to possession. Now we may think this is something that people are supposed to do, but you never know. And unfortunately, too often people leave their house really dirty. So what you do, you write this condition on the contract, and you also would also put a hold back in saying, if you don't do this, we're going to hold back $1,000 off the purchase price. Then 24 hours before possession, you go in and make sure the property was professionally cleaned. Um, so this sounds, you know, easy, but unfortunately it's not uh, for two reasons. One, the first one being that we're in a seller's market. So you put this in the contract, the sellers go, eh, sorry, they cross it off. They may even tell you, listen, we're going to clean the place, but we don't want them in the purchase contract. Maybe they will clean it, maybe they won't clean it. You know, you never know. And unfortunately, you lose a little, a little bit of control at this point in time as to whether you can really do anything about it. The second case that I've run into a few times and I've tried this, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but the seller is like, what does professional cleaning mean exactly? They could just find some friend off the street and pay them, and they could leave a receipt, all these sorts of things. And you don't really have a case, and I've had a, done this before where people are like, oh yeah, it's professionally cleaned, and very clearly it wasn't. In this case, you form the seller, you form your lawyer, and the, your lawyer as a buyer can talk to the seller's lawyer, but he's a little bit limited in what he can do sometimes. He can say, well, it was professionally cleaned, and what does that mean exactly? How is that defined? So that's something to think about. And ultimately what you have to realize is when you're buying property is you lose a certain degree of control in between when you buy the property and when the sellers move out and you have to take possession. You are comforted in the fact that the property must be substantially the same as when you bought it, but there's little, there's little things that could drive you nuts, things being left behind, things being left dirty, these things happen. There's not really very much you can do about it, unfortunately. Um, the best thing you can do, and this is an awesome thing, is get possession of that house as soon as you can and just be flexible. When you move in there, don't expect the house to be pristine when you move into it. There's gonna be a few things that come up. Unfortunately, that's that's what, how, what happens. There isn't very much you can do about that, especially not in this market. Any questions on this, guys, give me a call, 403-990-1278, or reach me on my email, d.ruddick at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye.